my name is Katie Smith and I'm a fifth grade teacher in Birmingham, Alabama. What a crazy year we have had. I personally have been in person since August, but not with a lot of, without a lot of changes. We have these nice dividers on our desks. The kids are not allowed to move around the room as much. And what I was worried about the most with these socially distant classrooms to keep our kids safe was the lack of games. I use games all the time to boost student engagement, collaboration, and just add a little fun to the classroom. And that was not something I was willing to let go just because of socially distant classrooms. I found that Jamboard, an interactive whiteboard provided by Google, has been the perfect fit for helping create that engaging environment, that collaborative environment, with games for my students that's still completely safe. It's something you can use whether you're in person or at home as well. Jamboard is a collaborative whiteboard where you can draw, you can add sticky notes, you can do, you can add pictures, you can play games. It is so incredibly phenomenal for collaboration. Whether you are collaborating with someone in the same room as you or you're collaborating with someone in a different house than you. You can discuss things, you can provide input. My favorite way to use Jamboard is to incorporate some games. So let's pull out our computers and let's see how it's done. Let's get started. I have pulled up a test Jamboard for us to check out. This is what a brand new Jamboard looks like. And let's check out all these awesome features on the side. We can write, we can erase, we can add sticky notes, which is a fabulous collaboration tool. We can add images. We can add shapes, which is very beneficial when we're playing games. We can add a text box. And then there's even this cool laser feature if you wanna point something out. Something super important to note is that when we share this with our kids, we need to make sure this is set to edit because when our, when our kids are able to edit, that's when they're able to collaborate. All right, let's look at some Jamboards that I have already made for us to all use. I have made Connect Four. Kids can play a game of Connect Four, try to connect the four of their discs together before their partner. We have made Tic-Tac-Toe, where kids can try to get three in a row. I have made one that allows for some workspace if you are all virtual, which we'll talk about in a second. There is four corners. You can pose a question to your whole class. If they agree or disagree, they can move their sticky note accordingly. And last but not least, your students can play a game of match. This would be super fun for vocabulary words, but for Rock Your School Day, I simply used different pictures. Students will remove the covers, and then if they get it wrong, they don't find a match, they simply replace them. All right, so let's talk about how this would look in our classroom. The first thing you're gonna do is pick which game you want to do, and you need to make a copy of the slide for every partner group in your class by clicking the word duplicate. So if I have 20 kids, I need 10 of these slides. Next, I'm going to assign each of these slides to a partner group. So I might say that Jim and Tyrone are gonna be on slide number two. They are going to work whatever academic assignment you give them. I like to pair this with a reading passage with comprehension questions or math problems, anything like that. The kids are going to solve the problem, discuss their answer. I have them to solve the problem independently, discuss their answer, come to a conclusion, and then they get to play a round of the game. The cool thing about this is, is as soon as I've moved my piece, my partner can see where I've moved it. So it's super quick. After each person has played around of the game, we jump right back into another piece of academic content. If you are all virtual, you might choose a game that looks like this. I love this collaboration option for those of us that are virtual. If your kids are working from home, they can still show their work to their partner using the text feature or the writing feature, which will allow them to be able to collaborate. I can do my work up here. My partner can do his work down there. We can talk about our answers. We can add sticky notes with comments that we need to add, and then we can quickly play a round of tic-tac-toe. Simply adding a quick little game, a collaborative piece makes learning a little bit more exciting, a little bit more fun, and my kids have really loved it. All right, guys, do we love Jamboard yet? 
I sure hope that you do. I hope that you will give it a try in your classroom to help create some collaboration, some fun, some student engagement. I really think you and your kids will love it. Whether you try Jamboard or some other unique experience for your kiddos on Rocker School Day, I cannot wait to see what you do, and I know it is going to be a blast. So, what do y'all say? Want to get to rocking? See y'all later. Bye.